Hey guys, my name is Joshua Migade and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about the Visual Assets Pack. The Visual Assets Pack has 170 visual assets that you can actually use in any scenario. You can use them for tour visuals, um, concert visuals, same thing as tour visuals, or you can use them to add a little bit of spices into your music video or any other thing that you're working on. And I'm going to show you exactly how to use them or do cool stuff with it. I'm just going to show you a few examples and we are going to see how it goes. Right now, I'm having um, a number of things I could use. I picked some of these off Unsplash. This is a video from Pixabay. Uh, this video right here. And we are going to just make it look a little bit better. I'm going to use Premiere Pro 100% so that you can see that these effects can be achieved even without touching After Effects. So let's create a new sequence in Premiere Pro. Come to File, New Sequence. I'm going to change the settings to custom. I'm going to use 1920, 1080 square pixels for pixel aspect ratio. And my preview format, I'm going to use QuickTime, personal preference. We are going to use Apple ProRes 422LT. And we say OK. After that, uh, I'm going to input the other footage I talked about. This one's called Alone. I'm going to drop it into my sequence. Okay, it's going to ask me to change settings. I'm not going to change settings. I'm going to keep the exact settings. And uh, there we are. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some something from visual from the visual assets pack. Let me just switch back to this and it's called Starburst. And if I come here to Starburst, okay, in the visual assets pack, there is Starburst and there are all, all these other options. If we preview this, this is Starburst and it moves really slowly. That's why it's called Starburst Slow and I'm going to move it into my timeline. It's right there. I'm going to come to Effects Control, Opacity, and change the blending mode from Normal to Linear Dodge in brackets Add. What it does, it's, it's going to remove all the blacks in the video and make them transparent. Clicking that, that's what we get. And um, yeah, kind of right now it looks funny because it's directly on top of the person. And uh, we are going to do another thing. We are going to use masks. I'm going to come and click that mask tool and I'm going to mask out the person. Okay, we're going to do something else later on and you'll see how it goes. So <clears throat> I'm just going to do a simple mask right there over the person. We cut them out. Yes, sorry, that's taking a little bit of longer time than expected. But yeah, and then I join them together. Using that mask, I've separated the person from the graphics that we've just put, the assets, the visual asset. And I'm going to come and change the feather from 10 to a little bit more so that it, does, it doesn't look that sharp. It looks like it's fading away, especially around his head. Be careful with the person's head. And uh, we're going to change some of these positions, like for this exact one. I'm going to drag it somewhere here. Uh, the uh, just a little bit like that okay and um, when you look at it let's take this back to like uh, let's make it f fit it seems nice already but yeah if you have time you can actually come and crop at every single frame you want and you take and you mask it out like that all the way so with this is that um, something else is that the main color I see there is orange and uh, my footage, which is a Starburst footage, is white. What we are going to do is we are going to add an effect. I'm going to come here to effects. I'm going to look for tint. Not, yeah, that's tint. I'm going to add tint onto that. Okay. Uh, what tint does is that tint changes black pixels to a specific color and all white pixels to another different color. So right now, because we did, uh, we used the blending mode right here and change it to add, we are going to do something different. Yeah, instead of changing the black pixels, which are no longer there because they are now transparent, we are going to change the white pixels to orange. And orange is right there. I think that orange may work. And when we say OK, we are having something similar with that. So we've changed it from the way it was from that and we've made it a little bit better. So if you like adding some special things on your videos, this is one thing you could do and I'm solely using 
Premiere Pro. I'm not touching After Effects. We've achieved all this in Premiere Pro. Uh, we're going to try to play around with the assets themselves and uh, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to pick an asset called uh, let's find, let's look for one. Like grid. Maybe this grid. Yeah, I'm going to pick grid and put it in the right. So with grid, this is what we're going to do. I'm again going to come here into effects and search tint. And I'm going to add a tint on this grid right there. Okay. So after adding that, we're going to change the black pixels. Remember what tint does? Black pixels to any other color that you're going to choose and the white pixels to something else. So I'm going to pick blue for the black pixels. And uh, that's already something that looks cool. Uh, for those who want a lot of color or you're working on actual tour visuals or visuals, you can change that to red. And we have something of that nature that looks cool. Uh, we can all, always add on something else, you know. If you're counting down, let's pick a number like one, put it on top, change its blending mode to screen, audio screen, and change its scale and scale it all the way there. Yes. And then you have it there. You can change its color. Again, we're going to use the same effect tint. Um, I'm just going to use the eyedropper and pick that color exactly from there. Why it appears pink is because we used a blending mode called screen. Okay, so let's see if we use a blending mode like any other blending mode, dependingly, it's going to change. So we can say lighter color, and there we are. So it looks already similar with what we are having there. So if you play it there, you're having one, and the grid is going in. We can keyframe the one. Okay, we can change the scale. So the keyframe there, 32, uh, move a few seconds in front, make it a little bit bigger to like that. So if you play it back, it's zooming in, which already seems cool. Uh, thank you so much for watching the Visual Assets Pack tutorial. Visual Assets is going to be available tomorrow, 29th June 2022. Uh, for those who are watching this video after that date, You'll be able to find it on my website at joshuamigade.com. Alright, never forget, Jesus loves you and have a great day.